Update one on Super Typhoon Haima, which is located in the central or western Pacific rather, with winds of 155 miles an hour and a pressure of 920 millibars verified by our SADOPS. It's moving west-northwest at 13 miles per hour, position 14.1 north, 134.2 degrees east, and it's expected to continue towards the Philippines as a significant super typhoon, and we expect that it will, it will reach category 5 intensity, maybe even on more than one occasion, and potentially uh, at landfall intensity if it makes a landfall in Luzon. After that, the storm's expected to weaken substantially, as you'd expect, uh, but still could be a significant typhoon by the time it reaches China. And certainly Hong Kong should be watching out for this as well, because the storm's expected to strike less than 100 miles east of there at the present time. But it is four days out, and a lot can happen between now and then if you're watching from that area. Sea surface temperatures, very warm right now. Look at that. Uh, extremely warm and you can see also another typhoon on the left hand side that's Sarica um, the Philippine name for that was Karen the Philippine name for this storm will be Lawan um, if it enters the Philippine area which is pretty much certain there's the wind shear graphic you can see both storms there uh, we're looking at the one on the right and the wind shear is pretty low has been decreasing but a little increase ahead of the storm which might slow its progress down just a little bit over the next 24 hours which is why we didn't have category 5 all the way to the philippines on the earlier graphic on the left hand side you can see sarica and its huge eye as well um, and of course we had Hyma. so let's take a look at Hyma in more detail this is what it's been doing in the last few frames been looking borderline category 5 status um, and that's likely con to continue though wind shear could weaken it slightly but we do expect that category 5 will be w reached at some point and it would be the first October Category 5 typhoon since Vong Phong. Um, the northwestern side looks the weakest right now, and I'm guessing that's to do with wind shear. It doesn't appear to be the effects of dry air because the storm itself is looking pretty moist, and it's a large storm as well. Um, and, okay, let, here, here's Sarica on the left-hand side looking at the uh, large map. This was, I think, from a little while ago. And you can see the storms earlier today, how they looked at the last visible frame of the day. Um, earlier today from the Himawari satellite. You can follow both the storms on force13.com forward slash tracker at the bottom of your screen. Um, so obviously the Philippines will feel the effects of the storm pretty soon but it won't be for around a day or two at least um, but by 48 hours from now which would make it Wednesday or Thursday the Philippines will be having a rough deal from this storm we expect. It's the 72nd tropical storm of 2016 so far. Sounds high, but it's still only the 63rd highest. 36 Category 1 typhoons, or their equivalent, and 21 Category 3s. As you can see, we're just behind 1955 and uh, not too far from 1979. Those stats have been recently updated uh, by myself. You can follow Force 13 on any of its outlets, the website force13.com. You can also follow us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13 all in text. Or you can add Fool 13 on Skype for tropical weather chat at any time. That's F double O L one three. That's all for now on this storm. We'll probably have another update at some point this evening or tomorrow. Um, and uh, until then, that's all for now.